this is FSX404 welcome back today I'm gonna continue to show you a couple of more things about slow flight we're going to do slow flight climbs and descents while turning first we'll establish slow flight RPM to 1500 first notch of flaps down immediately second notch of flaps down below 85 knots start pitching up to maintain altitude turn notch of flaps down before 60 knots At 55 knots, we add some power in to maintain altitude, about 2100 RPM should do it. Maintain altitude and trim the airplane for slow flight. To climb in slow flight, we'll add full power, but keep the airspeed between 50 and 55 knots. We'll start a gentle turn to the left. You can see a VSI is showing a 300 foot per minute climb. We'll roll out heading north. Maintain the heading for a while while the plane is climbing. To level off, we simply pull the power back to 2100 RPMs. As you can see, we stopped climbing. Let's turn the airplane to the right. roll out at the heading of east we'll maintain a little bit of level flight to descend in slow flight we'll simply bring the power back to 1700 rpms and maintain a 50 to 55 knots airspeed Let's turn left while we descend. You can look at the VSI and it's showing a 300 to 400 foot per minute descent. Let's roll out heading south. To level off, simply put in the power back to 2100 RPMs. Let's turn to the right and keep practicing some more.
Okay, it looks like the engine just died. The first thing we're going to do is pitch down. The flaps must come up immediately. Once the flaps are up, we'll pitch for 68 knots. That's the best glide speed in the 172. I know that we have a golf course in the Rialto Airport to the south of us, so we'll just start turning the airplane towards that way. We'll do an emergency procedure checklist. Okay, fuel selector valve on both, air static valve on, mixture is rich, mass switch is on, key is on both, and then start. We're going to try to restart the engine. Keep the airplane at 68 knots. Okay, there's the Rialto Airport ahead of us, but it might be a little too far. The golf course is closer, and it looks a little better. We'll head out that way. Okay, we're not going to make the Rialto Airport, so we're going to put the airplane down on the golf course. Okay, flaps full, let's turn towards the golf course. Let's head for the longest green. Okay, now we're going to do a shutoff procedure. The mixture is lean, fuel shutoff valve is off, and the key is in the off position. We do want to land at the beginning of the green, so I'm going to add a little slip. Try to land the airplane as softly as you can. That's all you can do. We don't care about the airplane. We don't care about the golf course. Tiger's just going to have to play another day. Once you're down and stop, master switch is off, key is in the off position. That's if you can walk away from it, hopefully. I did plan for emergency procedure on this flight, but I didn't know when it was going to happen. One time is as good as another. Uh, any CFI at any time can pull out any student's power out and say, okay, you just lost your engine, what you're gonna do? So it's good practice. Now, I wasn't perfect at this one. I actually made a big mistake. I forgot to squawk 7700 on the transponder. That is the code that lets the ATC looking at the radar know that there's a plane in trouble out there. So this turned out to be more than just a tutorial for you guys and it turned out to be good practice for me. It really did. Just remember one thing, when the airplane is in trouble, the plane or the property on the ground is secondary to the lives inside and outside the airplane on the ground. So take care, practice, and enjoy the game. Until next time.